comes to builders in DFW, there are tons of different options to choose from. You could look at all of the different ones and you would not know where to even begin or where to start. So here's what I want to do today. We're going to jump in and we're going to talk about uh, one specific builder, talk about history, build quality, price point, number of communities, what we like about them, what people are saying about them, give you some thoughts, and then you know we'll wrap it up from there. Our builder today is going to be Pace Setter Homes. So that's where we're going to start today. Let's hit, hit the intro and then we will get started. Here we go. As we get started, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I am in no way affiliated with Pace Setter as a company. I'm not their spokesperson, don't speak for them. Not paid by them. I'm just a realtor here in DFW. I sell a lot of new construction homes. And so I see a lot of these things. I'm in and out of these communities. And personally, my wife and I, we've bought a Pace Setter home. So I've kind of got that going for us as well. So again, take my reviews, my thoughts with a grain of salt, do your homework. I'm just here to be a guide and a resource as we talk about homes and home builders in DFW. So we'll start with history. Pace Setter, which is owned by a Canadian company named Qualico, uh, was started in 2007, was Qualico. Uh, 2017, they started building in Austin and they have quickly moved up here to the DFW marketplace. So really in Texas, the only places you'll find them is DFW and Austin. They've been in DFW since 2018. So they're fairly new here in the DFW market. When it comes to size of the builder, they claim that they build about 2,500 homes per year. Uh, again, a lot of that is gonna be Canadian built, but they are quickly growing uh, in the Metroplex and I think gonna be around for a while. So we're gonna see that number continue to grow. When it comes to price point, they're gonna be in that mid three range. They've got a couple of products that are like a duplex style that start in that mid low three is about 13, 1400 square feet. Uh, and then of course they run all the way up to about 730, 740 with a maximum square footage in that 34, 3,500 square feet. So they've kind of got a wide range when it comes to communities, uh, pricing and size. So if you're looking for them, I think they're a really good quality. Again, my wife and I, we built one. We liked what we were getting in terms of features and things that were standard for where we felt like the price was a good uh, and fair price point. Normally in one of these videos, uh, I would you know talk through reviews of customers online and things like that. But for this particular one, I wanna talk about our personal experience. Like I said, my wife and I, we built a pace at our home. We've been in it about a year and a half and it's been a, it was, it's been great. One of the things to, to be mindful of is our experience was we built in the right in the height of COVID. So we did have several delays and things like that, that, that pushed our build time uh, just about to a year. They are getting significantly better in those build times. So, you know, we had those supply chain issues and things like that. We had a couple of minor issues with not the company, but our builder himself and uh, those were taken care of our sales rep she was phenomenal uh, she's actually become a really good friend of mine we've we've sold several more houses together uh, she was phenomenal and helpful throughout that entire experience when it comes to design and package they are not a full custom builder but they are also not a cookie cutter builder so we were able to build out our home based in packages so it was like hey we have this package and you can pick this flooring this tile this cabinet color uh, you couldn't mix and match across packages, which was kind of a, a point of frustration. Um, my wife wanted pure white kitchen cabinets and we ended up with almond white because she, uh, or because we found flooring that we liked better and they wouldn't let us kind of cross those package lines. So that was a little bit of a point of frustration, but nothing too crazy wrong in that nature. Uh, when it comes to structural options, we had plenty of structural options to choose and make changes with. One of my favorite things, if, if you've watched any of my videos, uh, we have a door from our laundry room into our closet and subsequently into our master bathroom. This was the pace setter was the first uh, home builder that I've seen that did that. I've seen several others that have added that. Maybe I just was unaware, but they were one of the first ones we saw. And that was one of the things we loved most. Again, we loved a lot of our standard features. So we've got larger baseboards, we've got higher ceilings uh, and all of those features came standard. We didn't feel like there was anything in terms of packages that we missed out on. I mean, we we honestly, we didn't choose to upgrade our tile. We upgraded our, our flooring throughout the house to LVP. Uh, they picked a higher grade flooring there, but when it comes to tile, we didn't do that just for personal preference. Our structural options were not too expensive. Again, we built at the height of COVID. One of the things that I appreciated most about them 
uh, as I was watching other builders uh, do price escalations on contracts that were in, we did not have a price escalation. So the, the price that we signed for uh, in September of 2020 is the price that we closed at in October of 2021, which I greatly appreciated that from them uh, because they could have very well been part of that escalation thing and, and we didn't have that, so that was great. One of the other reasons we loved our house was in particular the community we picked. It was larger lots, which allowed us to get wide on a floor plan um, and as well as get a third car garage. So that was kind of our experience uh, post-close. You have to know they do, you know, their warranties are serviced by another company. It's a company called Pro Home. That is not abnormal. Lots of different builders outsource their warranties to other companies. There's only a handful that actually do them in-house. Ours has been outsourced. Uh, we've only had a few issues. They've taken care of them. They've not been no problem. But like that, you have to understand with Paysetter, with any builder, warranty at work is gonna take time because it kind of ends up in this like weird cycle of like you fill out the form and then it gets sent to the warranty company and then it gets you know distributed to the trade company. And then sometimes it gets to the builder and sometimes there's things that won't be warrantied. So regardless of the builder, just know that warranty work is gonna be a little bit of a headache. Um, there's the exception where it's not and things like that. So overall, our, our kind of feeling about Paysetter is we've loved them, we would build with them again. I would be happy to sell their homes to clients. Again, you have to take it all with a grain of salt because what oftentimes when you get online and you look at reviews for Paysetter for any company, most of the time what you see is uh, the people that are frustrated are typically the ones that leave the most reviews. And there's so many things that go into uh, those frustrations. You know, did you have a bad uh, building manager? Did you have a bad sales rep? Did like construction, did you have bad trades? Because trades, guys, these builders run through trades like a dime a dozen um, in some cases. And they have a hard time getting bricklayers and they get to ha have a hard time getting framing crews. So there's a lot of these things, moving pieces that go on. What the question is, is when something is wrong, how, what does the company do to fix it? Um, and we had a couple of issues early on in our build process. Uh, we pointed it out to our builder and he kind of didn't take care of it. So we pointed it out again, we pointed it out again, we pointed it out to our sales rep, they got it taken care of. So again, no home builder is perfect, but from a personal experience, we enjoyed building with Paysetter. We've appreciated their, their build quality and all of those things that have gone into it. I told you they were new uh, relatively to the DFW marketplace. Currently they have 11 communities that they are building here in DFW. Um, you know, a few Rockwall Roy City, uh, Wiley, that's, it's like a duplex community. And then a couple up in uh, Princeton, Melissa, Anna, and a couple more things that they're adding. So, so they're growing in the DFW Metroplex. Uh, I think you're gonna continue to see them here. I've heard rumor that they're going to Forney, they're building another community in Levon. Uh, so I think they're gonna be around for a little bit. So uh, as, in terms of website, I think their website is pretty easy to, to navigate. It's pretty straightforward with kind of pricing what they currently have available floor plans. Can You can kind of look through those. One of the things you'll see with Paysetter is because they initially started in Austin, uh, you've kind of got that central Texas vibe and look. There's one of their communities that's really in particular Enclave and Metal Run. Uh, it's got this like courtyard feel. And I remember walking it for the first time. I was like, oh, this feels very central Texas. Just that, that's just kind of the vibe. Like I, I think their, their curb appeal is great. I think it's got a timeless look, but it's got a modern interior, good floor plans. Haven't found one of their floor plans that I don't like. And again, we, we've walked a ton of those. We built a you know floor plan that we love. So overall, I'm excited to have Pace Setter here in the DFW market. I think they're gonna continue to grow and expand. Looking forward to what they have coming for 2023 and beyond. I would recommend that you build with them, at least give them a look. Just again, know that every builder, it, it all is so much is dependent upon your sales rep, community, uh, the HOA, the trades. There's so many things that go into that. Uh, that dictate how the experience is going to go. And of course, you always need a realtor when you walk into new construction. So I'm here to be an advocate for you and your family. Uh, if you need help, contact information is going to be right here. Uh, you can browse homes down in the description down below or book a time directly in my calendar. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, if there's a builder you're curious about, drop it down in the comments. Uh, I'd love to dig in and kind of do some research and overview and give you my thoughts. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. We'll see you in our next video. Bye for now.